Once you're ready to use Ivory, it's important to understand the distinction between whether you're using it as a standalone app or if you're going to host it in another audio app, like a recording digital audio workstation or DAW, like Logic Pro, or you can also host it in a live host software such as Gig Performer or Mainstage if you're going to be playing live. You also can use its own standalone app if you're not going to add in a bunch of other patches and other instruments. So if you want to get just that great piano sound really quickly, that standalone app is the way to go. So I'm going to start just by showing it loading up as a plugin. So right now, if you take a look, I've got Logic Pro up here. All right, and I've got a nice blank instrument track. Now, I don't have to worry about setting up my MIDI or audio settings because I've been using my DAW, my digital audio workstation, for a while. All of those settings are already configured. If I just play a chord on my keyboard, you see it shows up, G7 right there at the top, F7. So my piano, my digital piano, is already connected via MIDI, and if I had an instrument loaded up, I'd hear sound because my audio interface is already chosen. All that's out of the way. All I have to do is load up Ivory as an instrument. So you load up the plugin. I'll just go to instrument right here. This is a MIDI track. It's a virtual instrument or software instrument track. Those all mean kind of the same thing in these DAWs. And I'll go to Audio Instruments, AU Instruments, um, and I'll just go open up Synthogy, Ivory, Stereo. So I pick the plugin, and there's Ivory. It loads up. I can pick the sound I want. I'll just go to I3. Let's pick up a nice German D Concert Grand. And again, everything is just going to work automatically because the app, uh, Logic Pro, is handling the MIDI and audio stuff. I don't have to configure that. So I'll play some notes. <laughs> So I'm all good. Everything sounds fine. It's recording. I'm hearing sounds. I'm good to go. Um, now, if I don't want to use Ivory inside of Logic, if I don't need to record now, I just want to use a piano sound to play piano, I can use the standalone app. On a Mac, the standalone app is just called Ivory Standalone. And on Windows, it runs inside a runtime version of some software called Contabile, which is kind of like Mainstage or uh, gig performer. It's live hosting software, but it's been specially configured to help you just quickly open up and run Ivory. So let's take a look at the standalone version now really quickly. So I don't need Logic open for this. So from here, I got my finder window. I'm looking at my applications folder and there's going to be a app just called Ivory right there, Ivory standalone. So I'll just double click it. I'll open it up and there it is. So from here now, I will have to set up my audio and my MIDI settings because this app is not, it's not a plugin being hosted inside of Logic. It's its own app. So with any app, I need to tell it what MIDI device am I using. I go to MIDI, I pick input device, and now I have to go and pick a MIDI device. So right now I've got no MIDI device chosen. I'll pick my uh, complete control, my smaller keyboard right here, and I'll close. So I've got a MIDI device. Now the next thing I'm going to do is pick the audio device. So I go to audio and choose output device. So I've got those settings there because they know I've got to configure it. So I can choose my audio interface. I can choose my buffer size. So if I've got a faster computer, I can use a lower buffer size. The benefit of the lower buffer size is the lower the buffer size, the less latency you're going to have to deal with. The higher the buffer size, the more stability you've got and the more uh, you're able to load up large instruments and layers and multiple instances and things like that. So you're going to have to experiment with that a little bit with your computer because depending on your computer, if you've got a nicer, you know, newer, more powerful computer, you can use a nice low buffer size. If your computer is a little bit long in the tooth, you might have to raise the buffer size up. All right, and then finally, with channels, I've got the ability to send the audio to the various outputs. So as you can see on my audio interface, I've got a lot of different outputs to pick from. So I'm going to leave it on the main monitor routes. Now from there, just like in the plugin, I've got to pick a sound. So I'll just go in, I'll just pick a basic, you know, the quick grand German D. And now once it's loaded up, I'll be able to play. And as long as I've picked my MIDI device and my audio device correctly, and uh, you know, I've got everything hooked up the way it should, I should hear some sound. <laughs> And it sounds like I did. So everything's running well. So the standalone is great. I even leave it in my dock so that anytime I want a piano, if I don't want to open up Logic, create a new track and go through all that rigmarole, I can just click on, hey, Ivory standalone. 
piano, instantly, good to go, ready to play. And that's super convenient and super helpful. And it's also great if I ever play live with my laptop and I just want to go and maybe I don't know the keyboard, if it's going to have a good piano sound that I love or not, I can take Ivory with me and just quickly pop it up without having to worry about creating a new file and doing all that other stuff. 